Hi everyone, it's Adam with Miles Restoration and today I've got a video for you about refinishing and cutting a new marble top for this mid-century coffee table. So we're going to start with cutting the new top and I had this piece of Willow Sage marble that I wanted to use for it. So that's what we went with. So I'm no expert at cutting marble, but I do a lot of this kind of work for my day job. And I just like to tape the piece to prevent tear out and use some kind of a template to cut with. And I also use a ruby blade. Uh, I, the ruby is a manufacturer and the, it's just like a diamond blade. But then after that was done, I moved on to sandblasting the old finish off of the coffee table and this is kind of more in my element so generally speaking I like to use sand or soda but when I say sand I mean I use a very fine grit sand it's like a 200 mesh or a number 8 or 10 glass bead This kind of setup is, uh, you know, amateur, and eventually I hope to get a real sandblasting setup with like a full mobile trailer and everything, and I just really like doing this. So obviously specializing in furniture, it would be really helpful to have a very efficient way to strip furniture. But what I can say is that it does work well. There's a lot of intricacies to it, and I'd ha be happy to make a video kind of you know, nerding out on that kind of stuff. If that's something y'all are interested in, let me know and maybe I can help people and point them in the right direction. So since my glass bead or uh, garnet was 200 grit garnet, I was kind of left with what I would say is about a 180 sanded surface with the exception of a little bit of open grain in certain areas. And so I usually just go over it with a surf prep fine pad which is going to be about 180 and it takes a pretty aggressive sanding after sandblasting to get it back to normal. But after that was done I put all the marble in and I kind of looked at it and thought about what type of finish I wanted to use and if I wanted to use any stains or not. But I ultimately came to the conclusion that I just like the natural look of the wood. So I just went ahead and sealed it with some Gemini sealer and then I planned to spray some lacquer over the top of it.
so with the piece being sandblasted and stuff you're going to be left with a lot of open grain that after that seal is put on you're going to notice a lot more so usually i'll give it a pretty aggressive sanding back after the first coat of sealer and also the first coat of lacquer too so i usually do two coats of sealer and maybe two to three coats of lacquer but i only had a little bit of sealer left and i just went with what i had and then i mixed up some lacquer i usually thin it with about 20 percent lacquer thinner the only thing about this is just make sure you're using a quality lacquer thinner to thin with. You want to use something good like a StarTex or Crown Brands. So I've talked about different products and different spray guns on my channel and some good and some bad but one thing that I'll never complain about is this 3M performance spray gun. I just think it's so worth the money and it makes cleaning in between coats a lot faster. So after I got that first coat of lacquer put on I sanded everything back aggressively once again. And for the subsequent coats of lacquer, I probably won't sand because I probably have enough material at this point to get a smooth surface after sanding. There was only one piece of hardware, and it was the kind of faux drawer pull. And all I did was take some Barkeeper's Friend and kind of mix it into like a watery paste. And I scrubbed that with a Scotch Bright until it was clean, and it looked pretty good. It polished up pretty well. So I had to do a little bit of off-camera shimming and kind of shaving down some of the places where the marble was held up. But other than that, the last thing that I had to do was seal the marble. 
which I just used some kind of product I found at Home Depot. And that was it. I got some pictures of it and got some more film of it and listed it for sale. And hopefully it sells. It's got a lot of attention on Marketplace, but so far it is still not sold yet. But I really love this table. I think the way that it looks and just like this color marble, it would be a really pretty outdoor kitchen table or something like that for like a little outdoor entertaining area. But anyway, if you're interested in this kind of content, please subscribe and thanks for watching.